Hey everyone, welcome to the video. I'm super excited today because I have the brand new Fender Tone Master FR10 speaker amp thing. Um, it is a full range flat response amp speaker meant to pair with your digital stuff, uh, Fender Tone Master pedals, Helix, Fractal, whatever you have, this is meant to amplify it. It's brand new in the box. I just got it in from Sweetwater earlier today and I'm gonna open it up, do an unboxing, a demo, first thoughts, and try to compare it with my Princeton. So if that all sounds good, make sure you like and subscribe and I'm gonna get started. Okay, we've got everyone's favorite, the Sweetwater candy. We've got, thank you, from the Sweetwater people. Um, okay, Let's see what we got. It is a box within a box. No, it's a top, it's a cardboard top, and that's it, I see it. Little pieces, little corners, here it is. Oh boy. Gotta get the handle there. Oh, okay. Here she is. Nice. Okay. Also in the box is the power cord, and that is all for the box. I really wanted to open this without ripping it, but that might not happen. Now on to more exciting things. Okay, coming out of the plastic. All right, beautiful. These look so much like the uh, Blues Hot Rod Junior. Like it's that size, it, oh, it's beautiful. It looks so nice. Got these uh, cool little snacks. They always write do not eat on them though, I don't know why. And then got the Fender Tone Master Manual. So I went with the FR10 because I like 10 inch speakers. It's about the same size as my Princeton. And if the whole point is going digital and having less stuff than I didn't want to get the 12, I'll just get the 10. But if you're into 12 inch speakers, as I know people are, go for it, do your thing. Read me first. Should we read that first? Safety instructions? No, that's too much reading. TLDR, uh, don't shock yourself. A two year limited warranty, great. And then from there, we'll just take a look at this thing. Um, on the front, Nothing but that good old grill cloth, little thing down here that says Tone Master, and then a little tag with the features. Um, what else it's got? Got a power switch. Turn it like this, hopefully you can see it. We've got power, we've got volume, treble, middle, bass, and cut. I really like that it has a cut because that's reminiscent of like Vox style amps and I'm super into that. Um, on the back, let's flip it around here. This is also super light, let me tell you. It is, I think it's four or five pounds lighter than a Fender Princeton. And I made sure I looked at the weight before I got it because I didn't want to get anything that was gonna be heavier than my Princeton. On the back we have input and output, so simple. Your signal from your Helix or whatever processor you're using goes in there. And then if you need to also go out to front of house, you can go out right there. You've got a ground lift and you've got a power. That's it. It's super simple, plug in your stuff and you go, you're done. And I know I like Fender because they know how to do amps. So I was super excited about this model from them. Okay, let's touch it. The knobs feel great. I mean, it feels like those Hot Rod Deluxe, Blues Junior, all of that stuff. That's the look and feel they went for and they nailed it. I mean, it's awesome. Something I'm super excited about that I'm just feeling is the knobs have a little notch. So if you put the EQ straight up and down, that's flat. That's gonna supposedly not color your sound at all. But then if you want to adjust it, there's a notch in the middle. It kind of stops, you know, right when you're at flat. And that's, I'm so glad they put that because otherwise it'd be hard to like get your knobs just perfect in the middle. But we've also got the kickback legs. I've never had an amp with these. And they're really snug. Okay, kickback legs. All right. So then when you're at your gig and wanna hear yourself better, just angle it up. Oh, beautiful. That's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna get this plugged in super quick and then we're gonna try it out and see what it sounds like. Okay, I've turned it on. There's a little bit of a hiss, but you know, amps hiss, whatever. 
ね。Sounds like an amp. Okay, let me mess with some sounds. That's awesome. That sounds so good. Really good. I picked a preset that I've used most recently and I know how it responds and what it's supposed to sound like, and it sounds pretty close. I will say this feels bassy. I don't know if it's because it's a closed back cabinet, but this definitely has some thickness to it. So I'm probably going to default to rolling the bass down all the time. So looking at the EQ more closely, there's a 6 dB plus and minus range on it. Um, so, I'm gonna cut the bass 60B and see how I like that. That's too much. Maybe we'll roll off 2DB. One dB. That that took a lot of low end away immediately when I did that. I like it. That that's really cool. Okay, I'm gonna try a different preset. Go to something really different. Preset the bass felt the same, but I definitely want to roll that cut a little bit. So. Okay, let's try more treble. This is treble all the way up. That 60B goes a long way. Here's treble all the way down. That sounds good. Let's listen to some mids. Pull some mids out. Well, I'll do it anyway. Let's mess with the bass. Here's neutral bass. Here's all the bass.
feel like I don't need to touch the EQ that much. It's really, I'm impressed. I'm genuinely impressed how well it it translates my sounds with the EQ being flat. Um, if anything, you know, I could want to DB cut here or there, but generally I've tried a few patches now and it's really close. <laughs> It has a little more body than it does when I'm listening through cans or through in-ears, but it's a 10-inch speaker right by my face, so that's a little expected. Okay, I'm gonna pull up some cut and see what that sounds like. It's about at 10 o'clock. It's really nice having the cut knob on there. I really like it. And I think if there's a percent chance that your patches could start to sound harsher, ice picky, or you know, that brittle like top end that really sounds fake and digital, you can just pull it out right there with the cut. They've they've dialed it perfectly so it takes away exactly what you want. Um, and I feel like I could really push the amp in the preset now and it, and it wouldn't get harsh. <laughs> Okay, my five minute review. First thing, I imagine this can get super loud. I have it at the first little line, which should be one, but the no sound coming out is actually one. So I guess it's at two technically, but it's super low. Um, the first notch out of 12. And it's a thousand watt monitor, like a thousand watts. That's a lot. I don't know if I'm going to include them all, but I tried about five to six of my patches and presets that I know really well and that are really balanced to deliver to front of house. And it sounds really close. The only notes I consistently had was that this cab is a little bassier than my actual presets. That could be because it's a 10 inch speaker like in a box and it's resonating like it should. And Part of me has missed that from playing with in-ears and amp sims for the last year or two. It's not a deal breaker by any means. It sounds excellent and that's why they give you the EQ so you can make little adjustments. After pulling up the cut, I really like the cut at least about halfway most of the time. But again, if you, depending on your context, you might not need the cut. It's whatever you like, that's the beauty of it. Treble and middle, I left straight up and down most of the time and it sounded awesome. I meant to say this earlier, but nobody paid me to make this video. I bought the amp myself with my own money and I am blown away. This is probably one of the best purchases I've made and it's funny because I just bought it to try it out. Um, I'm really excited to take this and gig with it because I've got all my sounds right here. I just, I just need amplification and then You've got all that EQ on there to adjust it to the room. If your front of house engineer wants to mic it, they can, but you could also just give them a DI out, like straight out the back. I'll have to check, I'll let you know down in the comments, but I'm curious if the onboard EQ affects the DI output, but I, I would imagine it does not, because that would be a little counterintuitive to adjust your amp for the room, but then change your, your DI sound. I'll definitely experiment with that over the next couple days, and I'll let you know what I find out. Thank mm -hmm. you.
My official recommendation is that if you need a four inch flat response speaker, go ahead and get the Fender Tone Master 10 or 12. They sound awesome. They've got just the functionality you need and nothing more, and they're super lightweight. And honestly, what more would you want out of a full range flat response amp? You know, it's got everything you need, nothing else. Super simple, sounds great. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.